Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to download .NET 7 and install it uh, on your system. I have a Windows 10 system, so this uh, tutorial, is, tutorial is applicable to Windows uh, 10 or 11, the process is same. Uh, it is just uh, whether you are using a 64-bit system or a 32-bit operating system, it depends on that, or an ARM-based processor. So there are three varieties of uh, .NET 7 SDK. So today uh, we will uh, talk about the you know installation and download download and installation of this uh, sdk so uh, go to your browser uh, and a search engine and just uh, you know uh, type dotnet 7 download you will see links like this uh, so uh, click on this link here that i am clicking uh, here you will see two options dotnet 7 and dotnet 6 uh, we are interested uh, in dotnet 7 now this is for windows you can see that this is only for windows okay and here uh, you will have three options 64 86 and arm uh, based processors okay so 64 bit uh, windows 10 and windows 11 are 64 bit uh, uh, operating systems so uh, so i am going to use the 64 x64 here okay 32 bit is x86 it is called as x86 but it is for the 32 bit systems so let's click on this and uh, you can see the download has started uh, so it will take a few seconds to uh, download now while this is happening i want to highlight one thing uh, that i am going to install it on my system and then i am going to uh, go to visual studio 2022 and uh, create a small console applications like a hello world application uh, based on dotnet 7 and run it and show it to you okay that everything is fine so some people uh, may face uh, some issues uh, when they are uh, when they uh, go to Visual Studio 2022. They may face some issues. Uh, the reason for that is the version of Visual Studio 2022. Uh, the lower versions of Visual Studio, like 17.4 and lower versions, they don't support .NET 7. Okay, so you can install .NET 7. You can still work on Visual Studio 2022, but you have to upgrade your uh, your visual studio version okay so so once you download or, or if you already have visual studio 2022 in your uh, system so you have to update it so to do that you go to visual studio installer and uh, from there you can uh, update it okay so uh, uh, the process is very simple so you go to just visual studio installer here okay so the visual studio installer is uh, like it is it is it is uh so it will be available to you once you once when you download uh, any of the visual studio tools uh like uh, uh 2019 2022 community edition or any 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 anything like that so so all those uh uh when you download it so it will be available to you uh you can go here and you can update it okay like i have updated and i have 17.5.5 version okay so now i can use this 2022 edition uh, with uh, .NET 7 with this edition. Now let's go back to uh, the .NET SDK. So the SDK is here. Uh, double click it. So this window will open up now click on install so now it will it will ask you uh, so it will the installation is successful now you can see as part of the sdk what has been installed so you can see a runtime then asp.net core runtime and a windows desktop runtime so uh, these runtimes will help you to uh, create uh, web applications as well as uh, windows based uh, uh, desktop applications okay so all these applications you can uh, develop start developing using this uh, runtime so Close this and then go back to Visual Studio 2022. Now uh, we can see all the runtimes using Visual Studio 2022. You can also verify the installation from your command prompt. So if you go to command prompt and uh, type uh, .NET hyphen hyphen info, so it will give you a list of uh, SDKs installed in your system. Now you can see all these. SDKs uh, that are installed uh, on my system. Okay, so once it is confirmed, 
you go back to Visual Studio 2022 and then create a new project. And here uh, you can see console app uh, appearing on top. Uh, if it is not appearing uh, for you, then you can select uh, like you have filters here, uh, here, here, here as well. So if you have a like I have a lot of templates uh, uh, here, so you can filter it out like, uh, for example, C sharp windows and I can say console. So you can see only two, uh, two items here. So select this, this is for the latest, this is for the previous .NET framework, but now we want to do it for the latest .NET 7. So select this and uh, click on next. Here we can give some name. Uh, let's say LOW and next. Here it is, uh, you can see all these uh, runtimes available. So I am going to select .NET 7 and click on create. So now the, uh, so .NET, uh, uh, a default project has been created for me. Uh, so here, what I will do is I will just rebuild it once so that just to understand if everything is in order or not, right? So click on rebuild. So if it is successful, then it means everything is fine. You can see rebuild all succeeded. Uh, error list there are no errors if there are any errors here then that has to be resolved but there are no errors in this case so it means the dotnet 7 installation was good and also it was able to create an application now we want to run it so before that i will just add a line here console dot read so that the uh, when i run it 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 the prompt stays there okay it doesn't close so i have to hit a key to close it Okay, now I have added this, so let's run it. So go here uh, and hit this button. So it will run the Hello World application. So now you can see Hello World is coming up and it is .NET 7. You can see the path here as well. So the .NET 7 runtime is running this and displaying this Hello World. Okay, so everything is good. So that is how you download and install it and run a, or create an application based on .NET 7. If you have any questions or comments, uh, don't hesitate to uh, write it down. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. Thanks a lot.